Hey guys, Big Mike the Terror here. Uh, getting ready to go to my uh, my local police station to follow up on the story of uh, whether or not they're going to enforce the uh, the new thing that the Supreme Court has passed, where it's okay for anybody who's under arrest, not found guilty, but under arrest, to uh, have their mouth swabbed and to have DNA taken to have God knows what done with it. Now, um, call me paranoid, but I don't trust the police. And uh, so, th and this is going to be the first time where, you know, I'll be walking into the, uh, the police uh, lobby and I'm going to be open carrying my handgun. So I just wanted to go through a couple of things before I do that for my own protection, number one, and uh, just to kind of set the record straight, number two, but um, number one, it is 100% legal to, to do this. It, it is a uh, public space in the lobby of the police department. Um, even if it was not legal and you need a uh, license, uh, that's fine with me. I have one. It's right here from uh, Sheriff of Berks County, Eric J. Weeknisht. I, I don't know how the hell you pronounce that, but uh, I am a licensed carry uh, concealed carry holder. Uh, and also, you know, just because I, I want to get this out because uh, you never know what they're going to say, I have my handgun on my right hip. Now, obviously, I'm right handed, so I'm going to be using my right hand to operate the camera. So if there's anything that were to happen, like cops saying I reached for it or something like that, that would mean that I reached over with my left hand and it would be very uncomfortable and cumbersome and just impractical to try and pull my handgun out of my holster. I'd have to turn it around in my hand. It, it, it just wouldn't work. So not to mention, I'm also going to have my phone in my other hand so that I can show them the story which I'm doing this for. So that won't be happening, and uh, for safety's sake, I never carry uh, a a round in the chamber. So um, that's everything. I just wanted to get that out, and uh, let's go see if these cops are willing to uh, take DNA from people. How you doing, officer? Hey. Um. So I, I had a question for you. Um, that before. Did we? Remember, I was on a traffic stop, and you came up. Traffic stop? I came up to. In front of um, Arby's. Okay, okay, yeah, I do remember. Yep. How's it going? Good, man. What's going on? Um, I had a question. Um, recently, like three days ago, a Supreme Court uh, decision was passed about, basically it was saying that it's okay for police officers to m take DNA from somebody in the form of a mouth swab after an arrest. Not a guilty verdict, but an arrest. <laughs> okay. Um, so my, I was hoping to get a supervisor, but... Um, my question to to policers are: Would you actually do that? Like, would you actually like? Because obviously, you know, the term with uh, with power comes responsibility, and to, or to test somebody, give them power. I think, regardless of what the Supreme Court says, it's pretty obvious that that's like a breach of the Fifth Amendment. Yeah, um, I don't know any time that I would have to do something like that unless I had a search warrant. You know. Yeah, and and that's what it like it said in the Supreme Court case is that you don't need one. And oh, really? so, yeah, like, I'm not familiar with the case. So. It's pretty new. Um, it's pretty new, and uh, basically, yeah, it's it's just a concern of mine because it's for an arrest. So we don't, you know, I wouldn't want a database of people having their DNA, you know, for outstanding parking tickets or speeding tickets or you know the ever loosely defined uh, criminal mischief for disorderly conduct or. Right. You know what I mean? Things like that. Um, That's I think something it's for out here or like toward the West? More? Supreme Court. Oh, okay. So, oh, okay. so I think it's in general. Wow. No, I haven't, read, I haven't heard anything about that. Yeah, I mean, I have it right here if you um, are interested. Uh, I mean, there's more than one article about it, but this is from the Star-Telegram. Uh, the headline is, Supreme Court raises more questions on DNA swabs than CSI ever did. Really? Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to look that up. No, I... Your question to me was, uh, would I do something like that? Yeah. I, I can't picture doing something like that unless I have a search warrant or, you know, some consent is given, you know? Mm -hmm. um, it, it all depends on the circumstance, I suppose, like the case it's a rape yeah. I mean, or something like that. But. And, and they, they try to, because in the article they talk about how there was a case where they arrested some guy and they did this in Maryland. They, they took a mouth swab and it turned out that he was... Uh, linked to a, a rape from 2003 or something like that so now it's all oh it's good you know what I mean but I think you know you probably know as well as I do that giving that kind of power to government in general usually ends up with bad or it's a slippery slope you know what I mean yeah. um, 
So, yeah, I just want to kind of go around and uh, ask police officers that. Um, so, thanks. Thanks for your time. Um, no problem, and again, thanks for, you know, being cool with filming and the open carrying. And, no, uh, man, it's not a problem. All right. I mean, and I don't know if you saw the video. I did put that video on YouTube. And I did. I saw that. Um, everybody's calling me up about it, too. Really? <laughs> yeah. Awesome. I didn't know if anybody actually called, so. No, nah, yeah. Well, did you even call the, the office about it? I did. said on there that you did, but. Or, yes, I did. Yeah. Okay. I didn't film my call, but I put the phone number on there and said to call if people cool, thought man. it was cool. No, so. it's not a problem. I don't mind at all. All right. I appreciate so, it, man. You take care, okay? Thanks. Let me get my hand free. <laughs> Have a good one, man. All right, take care.